Hi guys, Richard here from The Leather Repair Company. So today I wanna to show you the reason why you should never use APC, you should never steam clean leather, you should never use saddle soaps on your leather, you shouldn't use things like microfibers, magic erasers, scrub pads, anything like that that is gonna cause damage. Because you haven't got a clue what you're dealing with unless you look at this with special equipment. We obviously have specialist equipment here. We have a full sort of diagnostic digital center where we can show you everything we, you know, that you can look at with leather to get the best out of it for when you're doing your repair because you don't know what you're dealing with. You know, steam is gonna inject pressure, it's gonna inject moisture, and it's gonna inject a lot of heat. Leather has a skin. It is then in layers as it is made with primers, paint, and clear coat. Those layers are extremely microscopically thin. You do not want to delaminate those layers with things like, you know, obviously steam getting in there and injecting. So APC is a killer, magic erasers, everything. They all kill leather. Saddle soaps is another huge problem, but let's have a look at this with the naked eye and we're gonna show you roughly what it looks like with the naked eye with the camera. So as the camera sort of comes closer, Obviously you're looking at this as a professional to sort of do your interior work for your client. And as you can sort of see, it doesn't appear to have any damage to the naked eye. You know, it just looks like a normal black leather seat. But let me tell you something. This seat has got a lot of damage on it, which you cannot tell. You know, if we sort of look over here, you know, this sort of bolster, we can see some wear and tear on the bolsters, obviously that's clearly evident here on the bolsters. Apart from, you know, we, we know it's got that damage, but apart from that, what you don't know is the severity of the damage of the skin, which has been caused by incorrect chemicals cleaning. And if you were to go ahead and steam clean this, you could land yourself in a lot of bother with your client by ruining their BMW leather seats, whether that be in a modern car or a classic or even some expensive furniture or even handbags shoes like trainers, sneakers, or handmade leather shoes, you start steaming those, you are gonna create a lot of damage because you don't know what you're looking at unless you use specialist equipment. So let us just show you something here um, on the surface. You can see here on the screen, um, you know, we're sort of looking over the leather and I'm gonna explain a few things to you as to what we're looking at. This here is severe cracking. That is cracking in the surface of the leather. Now let's just sort of get that zoomed in so you can sort of see that and in focus. Look at the severity of this cracking here on the surface. As you can clearly see, all these lines, this is cracks, and you can see there a crack running through all the way down here, and this is cracking in the surface of the skin, and we're sort of looking at that here. We're now gonna move that to another section of the seat so that you can see other areas of damage, but let's just move this down if we come away. Look at the cracking here now. You can see this is the severity of this cracking all of this is cracks in the surface. As you can clearly see, all these lines are cracks in the surface, every single one of those. That is gonna cause you a major problem if you start steam cleaning. So we were looking at areas just like this. We were looking into this crease line, and then we were looking at these areas here. To the naked eye, it looks just absolutely normal. So we'll show you that once again. There you go, look at the cracking on the seat. As you can see once again, you can see the severity of the cracking, this is cracks. This is cracks and it's splitting off here. All of this is cracking. Everything you see there is a crack on this seat. Let's move it to another area completely. And again, look at the severity of the cracking on the seat. This cannot be seen to the naked eye. This, guys, is why you need proper training, proper education from a company that can go through and show you all this sort of um, equipment, show you and teach you how to do this properly with your training courses. But just look at the severity of the cracking here. This is extreme. This cannot be seen to the naked eye. So if we come back over again, I'll then move away. And this is where we're looking in those last areas, is around this area here. You cannot see this unless you have the equipment and you have the specialist training from industry leading experts. It's why we invented the system that we have today that we use to identify leathers, to look at leathers each time we go to a client's car even when they come into the center for assessment or someone's home, we will always look at the leather correctly before we carry out any cleaning job. That is why we are industry leading professionals at what we do. 
If you wish to know any more about our training courses or how to identify leather or to know what you're looking at on the surface, we are more than happy to help you. Head on, head on over to the website, leatherrepaircompany.com. You can find us all over social media. We're also proud members of the IDA, where you'll find we will post all of our help tutorials to help detailers around the world. Thank you very much.